Good morning, everyone. It's Jeffrey Bershaw from Vaughn Destinations. We're going to get started here in just a few minutes. Uh, welcome on board. Uh, just a little housekeeping. Uh, you should see a four-panel slide here with the Vontes logo in the middle. Uh, if you do not, if you click on the, the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, uh, there's a blue flower. Uh, if you're on a, a PC or an orangish red flower, if you're on a Mac or Apple, uh, you just click that and it should come right up. So we'll get started here in just a few more minutes, and thanks for joining. Good morning, everyone. This is Jeffrey Bershaw from Vonti Destinations, and I've got a whole slew of Vonti folks uh, in the office with me today. I've got, uh, from for the Europe product team, we've got Megan Ball, Tammy Cortez, and Mila Kickert. And from Central and South America, Melanie Moore. And last but not least, for Asia, Janet Per... <laughs> you know, wear a suit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, she, her name, if you look at it, is spelled exactly the way it's supposed to be uh, pronounced. But uh, sometimes I just flub up. Uh, anyway, uh, be that as it may, we have wonderful pictures here of uh, Patagonia on the top left. Uh, Melanie's going to talk about all the wonderful products she's been working on. Uh, and then on the uh, top right, we have Salzburg, and uh, Mila's going to talk about that. And then down the bottom left is Shanghai, so that's uh, Janet's program there in Asia. And then uh, this looks like Tenario National Park uh, in Costa Rica, and that's all Melanie. So we're going to get moving forward. Uh, travel year-round, go 365. That's what we like to do at Avanti, travel year-round. Uh, in fact, if we didn't have to work all the time and, and so hard to get you guys products, that's what we'd be doing. <laughs> uh, but uh, So we're going to cover um, Europe, as I mentioned, Asia, Central, and South America. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because we've got a lot of utterly fantastic product, uh, some very tasty uh, options as well. So uh, this is just our recommendations uh, with regard to traveling through October through uh, March. In Ecuador and Galapagos, it's a good time to go there. In uh, October, uh, November, uh, something to think about here. You're seeing, um, you know, there's a uh, China, and we'll talk a little bit more about this in Japan. Uh, the peak season is just like Europe, uh, so you can really get a, a different flavor uh, for those countries uh, when you're uh, trap when your clients are traveling uh, in the fall and, and winter. Of course. Uh, the summer is uh, ripe in South America, and we've got uh, Rio is a great time to go in December, and we'll talk more about that later on. Northern Lights is typically November through February, uh, but this is in January is your best best chances for your clients to see the Northern Lights in February and March. Uh, it's a good time to go to uh, Thailand and London. Uh, so uh, we're going to kind of highlight some of the things that uh, really make the fall and winter travel stand out uh, for you and your clients. The airfares are fantastic. You get, uh, you know, good deals uh, throughout the uh, those months. Uh, you know, I think the, the theater and the museums are less crowded, uh, but I think there's also some really great theater, especially in, in London. Uh, a friend of mine just got back from there, and she saw theater every day for like a week and a half. Uh, anyway, uh, it's a lot less crowded. Uh, there are some uh, you know, great winter activities, and of course, all of the winter festivals, uh, starting with the Christmas markets in November. Central and South America, you know, I think you know, Central America is you know, hands down all year round. Uh, uh, South America. If you're, you know, if your clients are wanting to go down to Patagonia, uh, definitely our winter, their summer uh, is really a good time to go. Uh, and then, of course, all of the celebrations that happen around uh, New Year's <coughs> Carnival, and then the harvest, Vendimia, uh, in uh, Argentina and, and Chile. Uh, Asia, uh, you know, Southeast Asia is uh, fantastic weather during those months. But more importantly, it's a it's like Central America is a fantastic all year destination. Um, and then, of course, in February, the Shia Mountain is that's your best chance for your clients to see Mount Fuji. Uh, and then the New York celebrations uh, throughout uh, Asia are quite spectacular. And then Megan's going to go over our Avanti's Journeys program. And I 
I'm just looking at all this product. I'm like, man, I want to do all of these. There's some great <laughs> itineraries. So do I. Cool stuff in it. So anyway, take it away, Megan. Yeah, thanks, Jeffrey. So we're using this opportunity to introduce a brand new product type to our clients called Avanti Journeys. They are air-inclusive set itineraries to Europe, Central America, South America, Asia. They include air from the U.S and all the transportation, almost all the transportation in every itinerary. Um, they're all based off of four-star hotels in each destination. You can always change to three or five-star if your clients are wanting to change something. But the, the order of the itinerary is set for you. The inclusions are set for you. So you're able to show somebody a complete vacation in just a matter of minutes. And we had a lot of fun creating these itineraries. They combine a lot of our most popular destinations along with some other destinations that are great gaining in popularity. And we've been able to use our fantastic airline contracts that allow stopovers so that the majority, if not for most itineraries, all of the air can be on one international ticket. Then you get to use your international baggage policy and you don't have to pay for the checked bags for the intra-continent flight. And I think the other thing that's really important about this is this really demonstrates what we do 365 days a year for your clients is Absolutely. connecting the dots, putting cool stuff to do in the itineraries uh, to really make you stand out to your clients and shine. And, and uh, when they get back, they can uh, brag to their friends and family about how awesome their vacation was. Yeah. So ancient wonders of Europe. Sammy, this is all your product. Yeah. We're just going to show a few examples of some of the air-inclusive packages, the journeys that Megan was talking about. So uh, one example is uh, Ancient Wonders of Europe, which you're looking at on the screen. So this is a nine-night package, three nights in three completely different countries, easy to do on one airline ticket like Megan's kitchen. Um, so three nights in Istanbul, three nights in Athens, and three nights in Rome. Obviously, all three cities are full of history and um, great ancient things to see. So we have a couple of tours included in each uh, each location, so you can see those old sites, and all the transfers are included in a few meals also. So this is just one example of the package. And fly, fly, fly. Yeah, fly, fly, fly. Um, and then another one would be a little bit longer package. This one is kind of focusing on, we've done themes for some of these packages, so this one is um, looking at cities that are great to visit for art and architecture. Um, so this 12-night package is Paris, Florence, Rome, and then Barcelona at the end. Um, all, all of them obviously have different types of art and architecture, so you can get a very full experience in, in any of those cities. So they're kind of, the inclusions are based on museum visits, which are a great thing to do in the wintertime. If the, if the weather is not great to be strolling around outside, you can pop into a museum and have a great time anyway. So food and museums are kind of the, the main inclusions on this package. And most of the time you'll fly with a little bit of a train in there. We do have rail in some of these packages. Yeah, for the, the short hops, there'll be a train. Yeah, and also for our next package, the Grand Romantic Cities, um, that will include some rail. And for this one, we have selected the, our, in our opinion, most romantic cities in Europe and have selected really romantic tours and um, inclusions to go with this. So this package uh, would be ideal for your honeymooners or people going on an anniversary trip. And you can see it's a 12-night package, three nights Paris, Budapest, Rome, and Venice. And um, this is all on one air ticket from the US to Rome with stopovers in Paris and Budapest. And then there's a train from Rome to Venice and the return from Venice to the US. Excellent. All right. And then this is a, a different combination than um, we've ever offered before. Um, something new uh, to take advantage of the Emirates airline stopover. So we decided to do something a little bit different, kind of an upscale package going to doing a stopover in Milan, spending a couple of nights there, um, doing a private city tour, and even going out to Lake Como. I know in the winter it might be a little foggy and a little more chilly, but still a great excursion. Um, so you stop over in Milan and then head to Dubai for three nights and do some very unique uh, tours there, going out into the, the dunes, out into the, the desert and watching some belly dancing and having some drinks and 
So very different from what you'd see in Italy, so it's a good combination. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see a totally different thing, so uh, shopping and uh, upscale experience in Milan, and uh, again, Dubai, and then... Shopping and upscale experiences in Dubai. Exactly. Shopping as well in Dubai. Um, no shortage of shopping in any of these destinations. And then um, on the way back, doing another stopover in Milan, but then having a transfer to go um, to Bologna for a couple of nights, which is like the culinary capital of, of Italy. I just got back from there. So Aww. very unique uh, package there. And then our first slot in American package is Culinary Highlights of South America. It's a really phenomenally delicious package. It's just full of different food tours, cooking classes, wine tasting. So for the foodies, this is a great option. Three nights Lima, three nights Santiago, two nights Mendoza, and then three nights in Buenos Aires. So you really hit all the capitals on the culinary scene in South America. Uh, and you're eating the whole time, basically. So it's <laughs> pretty much all your meals are accounted for. Uh, and there's some of the best foods from the, the region, which is known for food in general. So it's a really great option. And then our second itinerary for South America is the South American Triangle. So this is a package that sells really well. And we're offering it in a new way as this inclusive, air-included journey. Three nights Buenos Aires, three nights, or sorry, two nights at Guazu Falls, and then three nights in Rio. So, really, the highlights uh, Guazu Falls is, of course, uh, a really amazing, spectacular natural destination, and then two of the most well known and most popular cities of South America. And now that's mine um, Deluxe Cultural Wonders of Hong Kong and Japan. I put the word deluxe in it because um, where are you going to get to see all the must see in Hong Kong and Japan? Usually our products are via public transportation in these countries, but for this package, because it's going to be um, paired with business air, I just wanted a little bit, you know, like a little next step up. So mostly going to be via private vehicle. Um, you get the uh, private living culture tour where you get to learn to do Tai Chi and do some tea testing and um, end up with some, some foot reflexology. And then you go to Tokyo, um, Hakone, of course, and then to Kyoto. Nice. So they can go in February and see Mount. Yep, yep, that's going to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one is past and present of Japan and Thailand. Um, and the theme for this one is you get to see both past and present of both countries. And for Tokyo, the focus on more of the future and the fast, you know, city of um, Japan. And then you go to Kyoto, where it's more tradition. And you're going to get to do um, the tea ceremony and kimono wearing, which is like the art in itself. And then later you go to Bangkok, and for the city tour, you're going to get to do via train, foot, and um, boat. Uh, for Chiang Mai, it's more of the older um, twist. And back to Bangkok, you're going to have the Yami Remit show, which is a cultural sh um, show in Bangkok. All right. So we covered the Journeys products. Uh, that's connect, you know, connecting the dots with using uh, our air contracts and stopovers. And now we're going to go on to just pure land products. Of course, we can add air or rail or you can combine several of these uh, but uh, you know it's uh, other features as far as some of the destinations that we're servicing and some other additionally cool products uh, that the product team developed uh, over the last what month and a half mm -hmm. two months uh, so anyway uh, more opportunities uh, definitely during the summer to uh, interact with the locals you know going to a local pub you know you'll probably get invited back home uh, mm -hmm. to their house uh, afterwards. Anyway, it's, you know, it's a, it's a good time to travel from, from uh, October through, or November through March. Uh, but uh, anyway, Megan's going to talk a little bit about some of her products, and then we'll just go around robin around the room again. Yeah. Thanks, Jeffrey. So yes, while the Avanti journeys are available year-round, uh, we are doing a focus right now on traveling during our winter. So November through March, uh, Jeffrey already mentioned at the beginning and just now some really uh, key reasons to go in the winter. And so we've developed some city breaks and multi-city packages for specifically for winter travel. Winter in London, we've got three nights with uh, a new tour, a private city tour by iconic black taxi. So these taxis are really, they can get around the city really easily. They can pull over at any time. You see something, you want to take a picture, the taxi driver just pulls right over, you hop out, you can take a picture, hop back in, keep going. And and they're iconic drivers as well. Oh yeah. They, they have <laughs> Quite to, the character. They have to know so much information before they can even get a job as a taxi driver yeah. in London. Yeah. It's amazing. It's cool. 
this itinerary is really, really cool, I think. Historic British grandeur, it's London, York, Edinburgh, and connected by trains. Uh, and it's kind of, again, what Britain is really known for, uh, using some of their um, really iconic hotels or very grand, famous hotels. So three nights in London at the Draycott, which is um, a nice like townhouse style property that has a very exclusive feel uh, near Sloan Square. Then take the train to York, and in York, staying at the Principal, which is a lovely hotel not far from the rail station, and they'll have a welcome gift in their room of Yorkshire um, specialties like beer and some uh, little food gifts that are famous to that area. Mm -hmm. Probably pudding. <laughs> pudding is like a, a dessert. It's not like J-E-L-L-O pudding. <laughs> I, I hear New Yorkshire and I go pudding. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, and then going to Edinburgh. And this one is really, really cool, I think, because you're staying at the Balmoral, which is across the street, basically, from Waverly Rail Station. But when your clients arrive at the rail station by train, they'll be met by a concierge from the Balmoral wearing a kilt. And he will walk your clients um, through the rail station and over to the hotel with their baggage. So porterage is included in that, that um, arrival service. And then having a champagne afternoon tea in the Palm Court of the Balmoral. And then also taking a day out of the city to go see Sterling Castle and go to a whiskey distillery for tasting. So really all the things that we think about a lot when we think about Great Britain, tea and whiskey. and maybe what I think about. <laughs> Continuing a the theme for Scotland, we have the lowlands and highlands of, of Scotland. So staying in Edinburgh for three nights, uh, going out to St. Andrews, going to the castle, doing a whiskey experience. Then they'll take the train to Inverness, stay three nights, do a day tour over to Loch Ness and see Urquhart Castle, which is really cool. And then they take the train back to Edinburgh for one more night. So this is something that could just be one one vacation in itself, or you could add on to this, like go down to London or go really anywhere in Europe because we are so good at connecting the dots. Nice. Tammy, it's your okay. turn. Then over to Spain. Um, Spain is a great destination year round also. So we just kind of want to um, highlight that for people that are looking to go in the winter. Um, this package is 10 nights. Combined. Why is it December? The well, we have a special um, upgrades and inclusions that aren't necessarily listed here, but for these specific dates, you'll get like room upgrades. Um, sometimes they'll have welcome drinks, so different um, additional amenities during these specific dates. But the package can technically be booked year-round. Um, so four different destinations that are um, great places to visit year-round, Barcelona, Valencia, Madrid, and Seville. Each one you'll have a private tour with a private guide, and then we've got some meals um, thrown in also. So a dinner, flamenco show, and lunch. So you'll see the best of all those cities. And then Rome is also a great place to go in the wintertime. Um, we have a few different packages that you'll see in the brochure um, once you look at the full brochure. This one here is highlighting the three-star package, um, which is a really good price point. But again, you'll do a private panoramic tour, take you all over the city, and show you kind of some of the highlights. Um, and then you'll have a local um, restaurant dinner, and you'll actually go to do a market tour and some cooking classes with um, Gianni and Caesar that are really great people, um, teach us a few tricks in the kitchen. Um, and then we've got winter in Venice, another great thing to do, um, carnival, obviously, from the photo there, uh, which is uh, mid-February, mid so the 16th through March 5th. So it's a great time to come and visit and see all the festivities going on. It's a really lively period, so it's it's a lot of fun. This package just uh, includes a dinner in a local restaurant and then a walking tour with some bakari stops, which are the little local um, bars where the, the local Venetians like to stop to get their food. So you kind of walk around the town and, and eat the best with uh, a local guide there. So, And then something different, uh, maybe not the first thing you think of when you're thinking of going to Croatia, because most people are, know it for the beautiful Dalmatian coast during the summertime, but going to Croatia in the winter also has great things to offer. Uh, Zagreb is their capital city, and it has a, a wonderful Christmas market. So they have the, the Christmas tree, lots of lights, um, musical events all throughout the month of December and into early January. 
Um, so we've included a private Christmas walking tour to kind of take you around the town and let you know about their um, Christmas festivities. And then another private tour taking you outside of the city to see some of the castles in the area, which is a good thing to do in the wintertime as well. Yeah, Switzerland. Switzerland. <laughs> Switzerland. Uh, this itinerary, as the name might tell you, it focuses on all these classic Swiss experiences that I think a lot of people tend to imagine when they think about going to Switzerland. So starting in Zurich for two nights, do a city tour and see kind of like the surrounding area, but then have a fondue dinner because you cannot go to Switzerland and not, and, uh, not have fondue. So then going by train to Grindelwald, which is a mountain town, and from there doing a self-guided excursion to Mount Schilthorn, which uh, maybe some people already know it and they don't realize that it was uh, heavily featured in a James Bond movie on Her Majesty's Secret Service. So doing an excursion there, you can see um, the, like this, the main peaks, let's say, of the Swiss Alps, what they call the, the Swiss Alpine skyline. So seeing like the Jungfrau and the Eiger and the Monk um, on a clear day. And then going to Lucerne, great, great charming town. So really lovely um, old city, old part of their city. And then you can also go to a chocolate factory, do a self-guided uh, tour there, and then make your own chocolate bar. So mountains, cheese, chocolate, everything you need. Everything you need. Like bags, all rail, all connected. All right, then Hello? we're moving on to Germany. Um, Germany, as you know, or many of you know, is famous for its Christmas markets, and this package will take you to three of the most beautiful ones in Germany. Um, the package would include two nights stay in Munich with breakfast, and in Nuremberg, of course, with breakfast as well, as well as private tours of Christmas markets in those cities. So Nuremberg, of course, is the most famous Christkindle market that is on the square with the uh, beautiful fountain and the other um, churches. And then there's also included a day trip to Regensburg, where there's another really beautiful Christmas market inside the castle of Regensburg and in the, on the grounds of that. So that includes a private tour of Regensburg and the Christmas market there as well. So that is, I think, one of the highlights. It operates in December um, when the Christmas markets take place. In Austria, we have come up with a very special experience, a waltzing in Vienna package. Um, Vienna has the ball season going on in the winter, and the peak months are really January and February. Over the course of the whole winter, about 400 balls take place in Vienna, and we've selected two of them um, to make a package out of them. Um, there's a four-star and a five-star hotel option. All packages include private arrival transfer, a waltzing lesson, either the day of the ball or the day before, depending on what time the clients arrive. Um, a transfer to the ball venue by car. If they want the full fairy tale experience, they can upgrade and take a horse carriage from the hotel to the ball. The entrance ticket is included as well, and um, everyone will get a chocolate, a Viennese chocolate gift as they arrive. One more important thing before we move on is the balls have a dress code, so it's very important that clients know that and stick to that as well. And it's only available on the 23rd and February 15th. Exactly, because we picked those balls and they only take place once a year. Another uh, very special event in Austria this year is the 200th anniversary of the Christmas song Silent Night. And for that, Salzburg is having lots of special events and festivities. So we, again, came up with a package to um, celebrate that. And this package also has only three departure dates. As you can see, November 30th, December 7th, and 15th. It's a four-night package in Salzburg and includes lots of um, music activities like the tickets for the Salzburg Advent singing, a performance of the My Silent Night musical at the Felsenreitschule. And the Felsenreitschule is actually one of the sites of the Sound of Music. That's where the music competition takes place, so you can actually go see that. Um, and another Christmas tour in the Lake District. It's really beautiful. They take a boat from one market to the other. So, yeah, this is a very special event and only available this year on those three dates. <laughs> um, Jeffrey mentioned the Northern Lights earlier. Um, we have been offering um, packages in Tromsø, in Norway, and Rovaniemi in Finland. This year we're adding Sweden into the mix as well. And we've created a four night package. It's actually longer than four nights. It's actually. One, two, three, four. Huh. One night. Okay, it should actually be. <clears throat> two nights in It should be fine. It should be five nights, two nights oh. in Stockholm, but that's flexible. Okay. You know. Um, it's customizable anyway. So it starts with two nights in Kiruna, 
and there's no mobile tour there. And Kiruna is very far up north in Sweden, but from there you can go even further north to Abisko. So there's a round trip train ride to Abisko. They go there and have dinner at the Aurora Sky Station. So they actually take the chairlift up to the Sky Station and have dinner there, and Northern Lights is going to be all around them. Yeah, and then take the lift back down, stay in Abisko, and transfer back to Kiruna from their flight to Stockholm. And in Stockholm, they can stay one or two nights or however long or they three. want. Or three, maybe <laughs> four. No, yeah, so that's totally flexible. Uh, Iceland, of course, is a destination year-round as well. Um, the focus is often on Reykjavik, but we really want to try and get people to go up north there as well. So this package includes three nights in Reykjavik with a Northern Lights tour, the classic Golden Circle tour, of course, with a visit to the steam bath, and then clients fly up to Akureyri, and the flight is included in the package as well. And um, in Akureyri, we have private airport transfers included, and then there's a coastline tour with the visit to a brewery. The coastline there is beautiful. I've done that tour myself, and it's just you just want to stay there and just look at the mountains and the fjords the whole time. Um, yeah. So we and, know what you did when you were there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I visited the brewery too. <laughs> All right, Melanie, Costa Rica. On to warmer destinations. Uh, so Costa Rica Coast to Coast is a great program um, that goes from the East Coast to the West Coast, so you really get to see a decent chunk of the country. Mm -hmm. You start with a night in San Jose and then immediately go up to Tortuguero National Park. Uh, beautiful site along canals, a lot of wildlife. From there into Arnall, which is of course a very popular destination, uh, you do a zip lining tour there. And then another national park that's less visited, uh, so less crowds, but it's really amazing. It's Rio Celeste and Tenorio National Park, and that's what the picture is there. It's known for having these amazing bright blue water, naturally just due to the minerals there. So it's a great eco destination, lots of hikes around. And then end with three nights on the beach in Guanacaste. Perfect. Uh, moving farther south, Ultimate Ecuador is a really popular package. So it, you get to see the mainland of Ecuador. And then, of course, uh, the highlight is the Galapagos. So this starts with Quito. Uh, you see the city. You go out to Otavalo Market, which is really unique and beautiful. And then to the Galapagos for a four-night cruise. Come back and spend a night in Guayaquil. And then end with two nights in Cuenca, which is a really beautiful colonial UNESCO city uh, with great architecture. This is a new package, Culinary and Cultural Peru. It hits all the highlights, anything anyone would want to see on their first trip to Peru, but with a focus on the really amazing food and culture in Peru. So I think it's a great option because the food there is really just fantastic. There's no reason not to get as much as you can. So two nights in Lima. Um, you go to the Larco Museum, which is really amazing, and they're known for how good their restaurant is there when you have dinner. And then you go to the Sacred Valley, um, tour Oyante Tambo and have a farm-to-table lunch at a farm that is local there. You visit Machu Picchu, of course. Uh, on the Visadome train, you have a guided tour and then a second entrance. And then you end in Cusco, and that will include a cooking class as well. Patagonia Explorer is a really great package, and our winter is really the only time to do this, the best time, absolutely. October through April is the season. Um, it starts with Santiago, and then you go down to Patagonia. This package gives you the option of a land or cruise. So you can either do the four-night Australis cruise from um, Punta Arenas to Ushuaia, so going from Chile to Argentina, or you can choose to stay in a lodge in Torres del Paine National Park. And then either way, after that, you go for to Calafate, where the Prito Moreno Glacier is for two nights, and then end in Buenos Aires. Another new package uh, that I'm really excited about is Brazil Beach and Culture. Uh, again, winter is going to be a great time to go. It'll be nice and sunny there. Uh, this package combines Rio with Il Grange and Parachi. Il Grange and Parachi are kind of newer destinations for us, but they're really growing in popularity. Now that the visa system has changed, so it's very easy to get to Brazil, we're starting to see a lot more exploration there, and now is a great time to do it. Il Grange is an eco destination. It's an island that doesn't allow cars, so it has some of the most beautiful beaches in South America and great hiking. And then Parachi is a gorgeous natural landscape, but also a really beautiful colonial town. It's set against mountains and then up right on the ocean, so really amazing views there. And then some Kasasha. Yeah, and Kasasha distillery can't be missed. <laughs> 
And Janet. Now we're getting to Asia. Yeah. Um, beauty of Japan. I'm really excited to put this package together because of the snow monkey. It's now on my bucket list. Um, I wish the photos actually show you what snow monkey looks like. But um, so you get all the highlights where um, you get to go to Tokyo. You get to see Nagano, Kanazawa, and Kyoto. And the main highlight of this one, of course, is the snow monkey. Um, and also Shirakawa go where the farmhouses are. Um, so this package you can go all year round, but I highly recommend during the winter time because you're gonna get to see the snow monkey bathing in onsen or the hot spring there. Um, it's just it's just too cute, like too cute to miss. Um, I'm going to Japan next week, but um, I'm gonna miss it the, the snow monkey. But I'm definitely going back there for that. <laughs> and rail between. Yes, of course. Yep. Um, flavors of Hong Kong. For this one, is our, um, I just created this a few months ago, but we get a special complimentary afternoon tea at the Langham Hotel, just for special for Go365. It starts from October and ends in March of 2019. So um, it's a great way to go and see um, Hong Kong because Hong Kong is definitely like a capital of all the foods. Like they love their buffet. It's not just buffet breakfast, it's buffet everything. Um, <laughs> so you definitely like, you know, cleanse yourself go there, eat a lot, and you'll, you'll, you'll appreciate that. <laughs> walk away. Yeah, out here, yeah work out later. <laughs> just go there to eat. <laughs> Thailand Discovery. So this package is beyond just the main cities. You know, first timer people like to go to Bangkok, Chiang Mai, and then Phuket for sure. So this itinerary includes everything, but more than that. Um, so if you have a little bit more time, I highly recommend this one um, because between the city, you get to have tour and route. So you don't, you don't waste time at all. You start from Bangkok, drive to Kanchanaburi, and then you go to Pisanulog and Lampang, and then Chiang Rai, of course, you see the Golden Triangle where the border of um, Laos, Myanmar, and Thailand meet. Um, and then you go to Chiang Mai, um, and then end up with three nights in Phuket and see the tropical islands. So it's it's jam packed. Huh? Yeah, for sure. But it all. everything, yep. <laughs> this Beat one. Beat your way through Vietnam. Exactly. Taste of Vietnam. Um, you know, I think Thai, um, Vietnamese cuisine has been popular in the past few years, and probably thanks to Anthony Bourdain. Um, for this package, um, you'll get the city tour, main city tour for each um, each city. You go from Hanoi, Hoi An, and come down to Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon. Um, so you'll get a cooking class, everything food related, with 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 uh, city tour as well. And the first one that I want to highlight is in um, Hanoi, where you get the market visit and the street food with Mrs. Adriet. And she's a granddaughter of um, a restaurant where Anthony Bourdain likes to go in Hanoi, and he pressed for their like um, their del delicacy of their family uh, menu. So you get to walk around with her. Um, she'll show you all the recipes. She's the insider yes, exactly. perspective. Uh -huh. This one, Bali Romantic Retreat. Bali is my all-time favorite destination. It's just so much to talk about this um, this island. Um, so this package, um, the special of this package is you don't just go to the beach in Ubud. You kind of start from south of Bali, start from the beach, and then you go up to Ubud, and you come back down to the beach in a different beach, of course, um, at, at your own choices. But there's a lot of options to choose from for, in south Bali. Um, so this one is definitely a romantic um, retreat because at the end of your um, kind of your trip, we have this um, private romantic evening with candlelit dinner. And again, I talk to people, it's going to be in a cave, but it's not like a scary cave. It's not, <laughs> it's not that type of creepy one. It's actually something you'll see more of like in the, if you watch a bachelor or a bachelorette, it's just like really romantic, romantic. super, super nice. Um, you get almost like a private beach access um, and you have like, um, you know, like alcohol to drink. You have like someone coming in and serve you um, wine and drinks. And um, this is something that I can see more of people like, you know, like um, end of Sari, honeymooner or like a proposal. Great. Yep. Yep. Experience. yep. <laughs> and last but not least on my part is Singapore short and sweet. Just like it is, it's short and sweet. Um, you have two tours with it. You see the Singapore through a bum boat and then the cultural experiences. So um, you have, you know, another day on your own um, just to explore the city. So definitely Great. recommend it. And then we uh, do have a microsite. Uh, it is a, a bunch of destinations.com go through 65. There's also a link right at the top navigation. You have Europe, Central, South America, Asia, and then a go through 65. So this really gives you a good introduction to the entire program uh, that, that we're offering uh, this year, uh, as well as a lot of places to go for the e brochure. Uh, we do have a bonus commission, which I'll go in details in the next slide, if I'm not mistaken. 
calendar of events, uh, the hotel deals that are available for your clients traveling, as well as inspiration. So there's the e-brochure right there. And uh, the bonus commission. Everybody loves a bonus commission. A $100 bonus commission at that. So, uh, you know, get on the horn. Uh, give us a call for those Journeys products. They're only available through reservations, uh, whereas the rest of these are available uh, online. Uh, but you get a $100 bonus commission October 1st, oh, excuse me, June 1st through August 31st. Uh, and that's for travel between October 1st and March 31st. So it's got to be $2,500 or more in value, but, uh, you know, FI, we do FIT, and that's pretty easy to get to, even with just land products. Uh, so just a quick overview, some of the festivals that are happening. Uh, you know, it is important to remember that uh, St. Patrick's Day is pretty darn special uh, in Ireland uh, and really big in Dublin. So uh, if it's something that your clients are interested in doing, uh, I recommend doing it sooner rather than later. Uh, and then New Year's and Carnival uh, is also um, something that you want to get on top of if your clients are interested. And then Lunar New Year in Asia, depending on where you're going, you really want to, you want to get on top of that as well. And now we're going to go through some questions that you all have been uh, writing down and see if we can't answer at least a few of them. Uh, and uh, we'll talk a little bit. Luckily, you know, we uh, I've got Megan in the room, and she's pretty familiar with the air. Uh, we do have some questions as, as with regard to air. Uh, and uh, just gonna first of all, the thing that we're doing is we're taking advantage of our contract uh, airfare rates. We're not a consolidator; we're a tour operator. So these are our tour operator rates. Uh, and that's one thing that you can take advantage of for your clients traveling with Avanti is the stopovers. Uh, and so it's something that we do well. Yeah, yeah. So our our net tour fares from the airlines allow you to do stopovers in select cities. And that is essentially how we created the Avanti Journey itineraries, utilizing these cities where airlines will let you stop along the way. So. Um, one example, I guess, would be our Grand Romantic Cities itinerary. So that is for Paris, Budapest, Rome, Venice. Normally, if you if you were looking at a published ticket, they don't allow stopovers, you would probably book the air for the U.S. to Paris, and then just from Venice back to the U.S. But on our net fares, you're allowed to do the stopovers. They're even letting you do two stopovers for Paris to Budapest. So we actually create, you can book the airline ticket to be from the US to Rome, just stopping in Paris for three days, then you continue flying on to Budapest, stay there for three days, you continue flying on to Rome. That's all considered the outbound portion of the plane ticket. Then we'll, we'll book them separately, a train to Venice, and then the return Venice to the US that gets to be put on one plane ticket under one fare. So one PNR. One one airline record for all of those flights. Uh, when I was showing our reservation staff this last week, we were looking at that air. That plane ticket from New York for travel in January was six hundred and sixty five dollars total, including taxes, with a commissionable base fare. If you had done an open jaw ticket there's a really good chance the ticket would have cost the same, and then you still have to buy them the transportation, Paris to Budapest, Budapest to Rome. So huge, huge savings. Convenience factor, an additional convenience factor really, is that everything that's on one ticket, if it's one ticket, one PNR, as you say, when it's the international ticket, the international baggage policy gets to follow every segment of that itinerary. So while on the international ticket, you're used to have, or excuse me, the transatlantic flight, you're used to having one free check bag. If you just buy a published one-way ticket within Europe, typically those airlines don't let you check a bag for free. But when it's on the international ticket and it's all the one record, the whole baggage policy gets to apply to the whole thing. So again, a savings because they, if they're checking their bag, I try to go carry on, but if I go in the winter, I usually end up checking my bag because it's got extra clothes, warm stuff then they don't have to pay for the baggage fees. And if something goes a little bit wild, you're all on one ticket as well. All on one ticket, it's a lot easier yeah, if anything lot, lot easier crazy to handle. happens. 
yep. yeah, a lot easier to handle. All right, uh, and that's something that we should talk, uh, kind of maybe reinforce, uh, is, is that uh, these journeys packages are truly a package. Uh, yeah. And so we're not breaking them up, whereas the other Go365 uh, uh, options that we were covering, you know, they're they're like our recommended vacations or regional highlights and that you can change them up. Uh, but we're actually showing for the journeys, there's a, a from price based on certain travel dates. Uh, and, you know, it's pretty amazing deal. I look there's at some of the price, you know, I was like, Holy smoking rockets. They are the fantastic deal. deals. So yeah, the Avanti Journeys, they are they are available year round. Um, they are a new product line from the rest of Avanti because while they're still FIT travel, an Avanti journey is not escorted. You are still traveling independently. But we've taken out all the guesswork. We've basically said, you know, we have a lot of experience here. We know what people like to do in these cities. We know what pairs well together. Here is a complete vacation. I've we've we've picked it for you. We've taken all the guesswork. We've figured out for some of the itineraries, one of the itineraries that Melanie has, it has lots of transportation included. That is a little bit tricky if you're trying to FIT it and you're like customizing it. If you're trying to put it together yourself, we did all the guesswork for you. We've we've done all the legwork for you, and we've said like here it is. And some of these are pretty ambitious vacations. I mean. It's, some of them, I was like, yeah, wow, I, some, yeah, that's, some of that's them a good two-week vacation. But they, we've, we've, we've picked them for a yeah, reason. There's yeah. the cities, they're the places that people want to go Correct. or that we really want them to go yeah. to and, <laughs> and doing really unique, interesting uh, excursions that Avanti is known for. All right, so um, the, there's a couple of questions as far as the brochure is concerned. This is an e-brochure. Uh, we're not going to print. For this right, right Megan yep and right. so it's available online certainly you can send the link uh, to your clients you could print off a page if you wanted to or take a page out uh, and uh, save it and send it to your clients via email mm -hmm. uh, there are sharing opportunities uh, within the interactive as yep. well we have maps on them there are maps and you can click through to our website if you see something you want to book for go 365 you can click through straight to the website it's already set there for you just Put in your start date. Yep. So, uh, and then uh, one of the things, just kind of interesting, uh, there's uh, in the via the e brochure uh, or the the, uh, the microsite, uh, you'll have links to day by day itineraries uh, that you can send to your clients uh, as well, yeah. uh, just to give them information. Uh, and these are also, you know, you can book uh, uh, online with the ones that are available online. Uh, something to think about uh, or to know uh, is, is that our website, even though your clients have access to it, they can't book uh, on the website. It's travel agent only uh, with the rest of Avanti. So uh, just something to think about there. And... Um, as far as getting quotes are concerned, you can either, like I said, you can either do it online or uh, give us a call for the Journeys programs. Uh, and that's probably the easiest and fastest way uh, to get the quote. Uh, some good questions here, uh, kind of adding on to the air uh, questions is, uh, we do, Avant the question is, do we do air only? And the answer is no. Uh, we uh, are required uh, be, uh, to have land uh, for all of all the class yes. of services on our contract fares, uh, and then also uh, rail. Also, we don't do rail only. It's uh, need some land as well. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, even though we're we give you great, fantastic uh, fares, uh, we still need to have some land uh, with it. And then there's a question here with regard to. More air stuff, occasional stopovers based on a typical air connection. So um, it, there's a, it's a pretty uh, involved question you have there, Maria. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, stopovers, we can look into a stopover, see if we can get that yeah. connection with specific airlines. But if we can't, depending on when your clients want to travel, we may not be able to get that stopover. So yeah. it's always good to, you can do stopovers online, but you got to give us a call and we'll do everything we can to make the 
airfare yeah, is not lowest every cost. itinerary combination that someone can come up with is doable on one ticket with these stopovers. While our contracts allow stopovers, every contract is slightly different. Sometimes it's only in the gateway city. So maybe you only get the stopover in like that airline pub. Others will allow additional cities. Um, it's there it's always a little bit um, a little bit different. So the best thing to do is to call our reservations department, explain this is the itinerary that they want to do. Is it like how much of this air can we do all in one ticket with our stopovers? And we've got a great, a great air contracts team. They're pretty good at figuring out how mm -hmm. to get something on one ticket. If it's possible, they'll figure it out. Yeah. All right. So that's all the questions we have. Any additional comments, you guys? Anything we I missed? Just the, somebody was asking if the journeys are kind of like escorted, but they're not. They're not. all yeah. put together by us, so they're for individual travelers. And then the inclusions in those journey packages, sometimes they're private, and then sometimes they are a shared experience with other clients. But the overall itinerary is not like an escorted yeah. group type of experience. It's actually the same as yeah. Other product We're an FIT tour operator. Yeah. It's just they're fixed. Uh, you know, the inclusions are fixed as a package, but it's not traveling with a group. Yeah, yeah the itinerary, the, the places you're going, the order you're doing it in, the tours that you're doing, yeah. that's already been decided, but it's still, yeah. while you're doing the travel, you're doing it independently. Something we didn't really talk about, there's been a lot of questions with AIR, is the just a reminder that we have um, not just economy, but business class fares as well. And some of our business class fares are a fantastic, oh, yeah. fantastic deal. So like a thousand or two off. <laughs> yeah, like it's like it's um a, you're paying a thousand or two off of the published rate. There's also times where um like if you have a package with the economy air and you change the economy air to business class air, the rate doesn't increase that too much. too substantially. Like yeah. it's it's probably within reach for some of your clients. Don't assume that business class is going to be you know, you look in maybe in your GDS and you see business class is six thousand dollars. I'm not gonna guarantee it, but I'm gonna promise you that there's a really good chance that our rate will be substantially lower than that. So give it a try. Yeah. Give it give pricing out surprised. business class a try because there are some fantastic deals out there. And and Janet one of Janet's packages is a business error inclusion. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's what deluxe the deluxe. Yeah, deluxe, deluxe Hong Kong and Japan. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Uh there's contact information. Uh if you're uh Affiliated with uh, one of the consortia, uh, one of our preferred partners. Uh, there, you get on their portal and get a, a, a number as well as this 800 number, which is our general number. You can email us at requests at avantidestinations.com for new quotes as well as updates to your quotes or bookings. Uh, and then you can also visit us online at avantidestinations.com. You can create a quote. You can do create a saved itinerary if you don't have passenger names, uh, as well as lots of information. Uh, so with that, thank you so much. Hopefully you're excited as we are about all this new product that we've developed uh, for your clients traveling from November through March. And uh, we'll uh, talk to you next time. Thanks a bunch, y'all. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.